Hi guys, Thomas here and today I'm back with another video and today we're going to be looking at should you buy a Cruise PC World PC part 440 Seven. Four, not 447 sorry now if this is your guys if this is your first time watching this series what I do is I go into Curry's PC world find a decent looking PC that I think would be entertaining for you guys to watch and tear it down see whether it's the value see how much they're charging you to build it for you basically and also build I build a PC on PC pot picker for the same price point and see how much more performance you're getting so let's get into it so the PC in question today is the PC Specialist Vortex GT Gaming PC, Intel Core i5 TM, GTX 1650, one terabyte HDD, and a 256 gigabyte SSD for 800 pounds, which is a bit of money. Not not really for a gaming PC. It's about normal for a gaming PC, but it's a lot of money. So let's just have a quick delve into the pictures. So they're not using the Intel stock cooler, I suppose that's good. Doesn't really show up, so you've got two USB on, USBs on the front. And it doesn't actually show you the rear I.O. So let's head off onto Google. Where's the rear I.O.? It doesn't actually show you at all. I interrupt this video for a short message from our sponsors. Me, if you don't know already, a very small percentage of you guys watching this video are actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy the video, go down there and smash that subscribe button. Please. Well, I can't look at the rear I.O. for some reason, but it has a 10400F, a 1650 with 8 gigs of RAM. Oh, 8 gigs. Oh, no, not 8 gigs. So that's not brilliant. But you know, maybe it's just on the surface and maybe on the inside it's actually an amazing deal and I'm just not seeing it yet. So, oh my god, they're advertising 35 plus FPS in Cyberpunk at normal settings. It's a 1650. Fortnite. This is not good. 1650 is not something great. It's a lot slower than a 1650 Super for like 20 quid less. Any, any reviews? Oh, we have some reviews. Everything runs smooth with no problems. Could do with some extra fans. Bit of a nightmare to set up. Mark is an RTX enabled device, is it? It. Oh my god, it is. Why? It's not. Can you run RTX on GTX 1650? Obviously not. So why does it say you can? That's just plain false advertising, let's be honest. But yeah, let's look into the specifications quickly. 10400F, so not bad. I don't think it's hyper-threaded though. It is hyper-threaded, okay, it was the 9400F that wasn't hyper-threaded. But it is hyper-threaded, so that's very good. You've got 8 gigs of 2400 MHz RAM. A 1650 one TB hard drive, 256 gig SSD, Wi-Fi 6, gigabit Ethernet, USB, HDMI display, put DVI, obviously that's a graphics card. It's black and it's just driver discs. It doesn't have a disk drive. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just sit there trying to shove a <laughs> just sit there trying to shove a DVD just down the front down the front panel. God, what? So already, it's not looking brilliant on the surface of things. But like I said, maybe I'm just not seeing it right. So let us let me build it on PC Part Picker and see how much a ripoff it is. Right then, guys. So the PC Part Picker list is done. So what I've managed to do here is basically I've had I've added a 10 400F. The closest cooler I think I could possibly manage because it looks similar to Hyper 212 RGB which is what I've got, it looks a bit thinner but I presume it's RGB because there's a lot of blue light around the system and I presume it's coming from the cooler, that's what it looks like anyway. Well I also chose the cheapest ASUS motherboard because as you can see here that says ASUS. We then got the 2x4 two, two gigs, it is dual channel by the way, of 2400CL15 memory, 1TB hard drive, 256GB SSD a GTX 1650, obviously the price is meant to be, and not the really inflated price it is currently, 
the and the H510 because this case this case that it's in does not have good airflow and neither does the H510 and a really cheap power supply which in total comes to 577 pounds which if we throw into the lovely things that is a calculator 799 minus 577 that's a 222 pound difference so it is quite substantial now they're obviously charging you this 222 pounds for things like warranties the fact that you can obviously send it back because when you're buying parts separately and building it yourself you have to send them all back individually but this you can just send the PC back to them and they'll maybe they'll fix it for you and probably send it back. They're also charging you for building it, which is obviously a bit inflated for that. So, with that in mind, with the fact that they're charging you £222, I have that amount, I have £222 to improve the gaming performance of this system. So, wish me luck, and here I go. Right then, okay, so, I've now finished with my list, and I'm ready to show you. So... This is what we had before, obviously, a 10 for 100F, really bad motherboard, really bad RAM, one terabyte by hard drive, two, a small SSD, 1650, H510, and 500 watt power supply. Now, we still have the 10 for 100F, because that's not a bad CPU. It's not a bad CPU, and that's the only reason I didn't put money on it. I didn't spend any, much, any more money on it, because it's not a bad gaming CPU. The exact same cooler, because it's not a bad cooler. I have the exact one up there. And it's a perfectly fine cooler. It does the job really well. Then I've swapped out the motherboard to an MSI Mag B46M Mortar Wi-Fi, and I think it looks very nice. It's got a nice white theme going on there. Got brilliant I/O, and it's just a nice thing. And it's plus it's got Wi-Fi. For the RAM, I've gone boring. Sorry, I've gone for the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gig. 2x8, 3200 speed CL16. Your bog standard memory basically. Everyone and their mum has that kit of RAM. You've got Western Digital, a 500 gig SSD, a 2 terabyte hard drive. Obviously, we've improved the SSD storage as well. We've doubled it. And then I've actually managed to fit a 1660 Super into its budget. Now, if we just go 1650 versus 1660 Super. Yes, I'll be able to use the benchmark for this. I'm sorry, I know it's not very creditable. It's literally like a 66% difference. It's so much faster. And obviously, that's just what you want. You want a faster graphics card to crunch out that FPS you want. So that just squeezes into our budget. We then have the Masterbox MB320L, which is a nice looking micro ATX case, because our motherboard's micro ATX. Two fans at the front. I think it's just a nice looking case overall with decent airflow. And the power supply is a Seasonic S12 i650 watt 8 plus bronze, bog standard again, but does the job, and it's got high enough wattage for if you did want to ever upgrade your graphics card or CPU, you definitely could. So, now what's the total of this system? Well, the total comes to a whopping £801, which is £2.08, sorry, £2.08p over what the PC, what the PC, what the current PC world system is. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I went so much over all the stress. But yeah, it's honestly not a bad price at all. £801 for this system is a very good deal. You're getting so much gaming performance, very good multita multitasking work as well. I personally think it's a brilliant system. But with that comes the end of this video. I'm hoping you guys did enjoy it. I'm hoping it's a bit more like thrilling because my average watch time is like very low so I've tried to add some music to it to try and reach it up a bit, try and get people to last last a bit longer throughout the video. But yeah, if you did enjoy, like I said earlier, please go down there and smash that like button and, and hit subscribe if you did enjoy this video because obviously I will keep pumping out videos and thank you so much for the growth. When we hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to be doing like a special video. But thank you all so much for the growth in this channel. It's been amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.